Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Drawing One with, uh, with me, Vince Mancuso. Um, in today's uh, video uh, demo, I, I, I want to explore the idea of uh, perspective and how we apply perspective and how we work with perspective in a way that's keep it simple, stupid, and effective for the artist. Now, I'm sure, you know, you guys have all sort of had that experience, you know, where you've got the horizon line, you know, and if you're doing two point specs, you've got two points, you know, and, and you sort of draw to those points and, you know, you, you uh, converge the lines and you start to draw objects, you know, but you've got horizon line, you've got convergent line, and so on and so forth. And if you're if you're doing a complicated drawing, uh, this all starts getting a little nuts, okay? Because all of a sudden there's all these lines sort of converging to different points, going back this way. And you know, if you if you turn around and you divide uh, your forms, and you've got you know more converging lines going in, in various directions and your drawing becomes this sort of technical sort of mess okay and although this is correct because this is basically the fundamental principles of you know perspective and, and uh, convergence we need to simplify this process and we need to make it uh, understandable in a manner that allows you to effectively use the concept of perspective without the crippling time consuming process of having to draw all the technical components like a horizon line and vanishing points and so on and so forth. Because let's face it, it you know, for example, if I was to draw a meteor shower uh, of cubes in space, um, there's going to be multiple horizon lines and multiple vanishing points. And if I start going down that path, that rabbit hole, um, I'm not going to be able to draw this, this uh, drawing in any effective way that, that becomes timely and enable, uh, enabling me to, to explore ideas. Okay, So uh, when I consider this problem of perspective, there's literally one fundamental principle that you need to understand, okay? So let me draw here, uh, for example, you know, here's a person standing, okay, uh, from an overhead view and looking this way, okay? And at some point, all right, in our drawing, if we think of our drawing as a window, right, uh, the, that, that page establishes a picture plane Okay, and then this continues on to infinity, right? Somewhere uh, to the limits of our perception, and it creates a horizon line. Okay, and on that horizon line is where uh, where the vanishing points reside. So here's the basic idea, which is fundamental. All right, if uh, the station point you know, uh, the point of view, right? the PV, right? is looking at an object like a cube. And that cube is touching the picture plane, uh, you know, on one of the corners, okay? What happens here is parallel lines that move away from the picture plane, okay? This is your picture plane. And the parallel lines that are moving away, okay, from this picture plane, right? For them to look correct in space, they have to start to converge. Okay? Now, this is the fundamental rule of perspective. Parallel lines that move away from the picture plane and away from the point of view, have to converge to a point somewhere in space. So, you know, another way to look at this idea, this idea of convergence, which is, you know, a, a sort of a factor, is the classic scenario, you know, we may, you know, you may have experienced this in grade school, right? You know, here's your one point perspective, right? And you're drawing a road 
and your road looks like this, okay? We've all, we've all sort of, this, so what is happening here? You know, the, these lines are parallel. Okay, and as they move away, as they move away from the picture plane, they begin to converge. Okay? So if we take this simple idea and we apply it to uh, a cube, right? let's take a look at this. We apply it to a cube. Then we start to understand that, hey, if the, if the, if the lines on the planes of the cube that are moving away from our point of view have to converge, then we have to angle them accordingly so that the conversion looks correct in perspective while maintaining the integrity of the cube. So look at, look at, look at how I deal with it, right? If I'm looking at a cube directly overhead, um, for example, uh, there's my edge. And here is my plane that's above. Okay. And now let's ask yourself, does that look square? You know, considering the convergence, right, that has to occur here on the horizon line, right? Uh, these distances, right? Do they look square? Do they look equal? Do they look at 90 degrees? Yeah, you know, generally, I'm trying to be perfect, but uh, generally, uh, yeah, the perception is that it's a, a square plane. So now, if I draw a plane moving away from it downward, okay, I'm looking at something that does this, right? Okay. Notice how these parallel lines, they're moving away from me, right? Because it is this edge that my eye is seeing on the picture plane. And because of the overhead angle, the uh, bottom frontal plane of the cube is, the parallel lines are moving away from me, so they have to converge somewhere in space. The top plane of the cube here, right? Uh, the parallel lines are moving away, so it has to converge somewhere in space. And when I do that, uh, I basically create the illusion, a naturalistic illusion, a pictorial illusion of a cube in perspective. Now, I'm going to draw now another cube that's operating on a completely different horizon line. Check it out, right? Like this one is here, right? So now if I do a view like this... Uh, Let's say something like this. Okay. It's somewhere else. It's not in the same position. Okay. Uh, it's, it's floating above. Okay. Notice my convergence here. All of these lines. Right, are all converging. Right? These ones here are converging. These ones here are converging. All right? And now I've got a cube floating above the first cube in space, completely different horizon line, completely different perspective, uh, but correct and looking like a cube. Let's do another one, right? Here's another, another, another sort of view. Look at how this one plays out.
Now, if you see your proportions are going wrong, something's too short, something's too long, correct it, okay? And move on, right? There's another one. Now, this particular one, look at, look at where the, the convergence is happening here, and it's happening here, like so, right? And here, like so, right? All of these are in different positions, spatially to each other, right? And if I was to draw all of those lines, uh, everywhere, uh, my drawing would just become a complete technical mess, right? I can eliminate all this just by understanding that my parallel lines, if they move away from me, have to converge somewhere in space, okay? It's not complicated. You repeat this over and over again till it becomes second nature. Now, you, you'll understand this intellectually quicker than you'll be able to do it technically, okay? So I don't want you to get frustrated. This is part of the training that we are engaging here in drawing one is to get you familiar with the speed and the repetition so that you can then start to play around with drawing cubes in m multiple perspectives and uh, in various positions in space and they look correct, okay? And they look correct, all right? Look at what I'm doing here. Look at, look at how my, my cubes are appearing spatially to exist in space and they're twisting and turning and doing all different kinds of things, right? All having different vanishing points, but I'm not encumbered by that, I am able to draw my cubes to look like they are cubes in space correctly. Right? Now look, you know, my lines are moving away here, so they've got to converge, right? You know, this line has to converge with this line, right? This line has to converge with this line, okay? And I'm trying to be correct. but I'm not sacrificing the fact that I have to very quickly communicate the idea of a uh, cluster of cubes in various positions in space with one another, okay? Now, this is the kind of thing that if you want to become a master drawer, you have to practice like practicing your scales when playing a piano or a guitar endlessly, right? Building and constructing accurate cubes very quickly, right? See how quickly I'm drawing, right? This is how I want you to approach the same problem. I want you to be less concerned with being absolutely correct and more concerned with being perceptually correct, right? The, your, the perception of correctness, okay? This is more important. I'm, I'm trying to be perfect. I know that I'm not. That doesn't matter. I have a, a purpose here, which is try to communicate to you, right, the presence of many cubes in space, all working in different perspectives, different vanishing points, but looking like believable cubes. And you can see this now at work. You know, I have created an illusion of a cluster of cubes in space from the foreground to the background. Thanks for watching.